Congratulations on your win, first and foremost. Thank you very um, much, my brother. No problem. Going into the fight, uh, what was your game plan knowing that Muhammad was a wrestler? And um, as you put emphasis on that Komori didn't give up, you, you, uh, even though he was trying to escape, you like, rolled into it and you kept the pressure. What was, that was that always the uh, game plan? I've always been one of those guys to where uh, if somebody said that they're better than me or something, I want to show them that they're not better than me. You know, So I knew his game plan was to take me to the ground. Uh, I watch a lot of his fights, um, amateur fights, pro fights. He do the same thing. He don't like he don't like to stand up. He don't like to get hit. Uh, I knew he was gonna throw some kicks, try to really throw me off my game. Uh, so uh, my game plan was to submit him. I, I seen a triangle choke coming because I've seen him be lazy before. Um, like I said, on a lot of his fights. So I, I knew he would give me a submission. I'm, I'm good everywhere. I've said it last year. I'll say it again. I am good everywhere. So I knew eventually he'll get something up in the first round. Uh, it, it went perfectly. It, it, it went like I thought it would win, bro. Uh, I, I got more than one submission. I submitted Jared Rocher last year. I knew he wasn't a better wrestler than him. That was not a fluke. I'll do it again. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just better everywhere. I, my, my game plan worked perfectly. How did it feel to have your mom in the crowd? You know, she was very proud of you. I was just saying in the, in the uh, ring that um, she was very scared. Um, that you was on the ground and everything. You know, you don't get stumped, but still, I was yeah. good to have your mom here with you. Yeah, we grew up in a one bedroom apartment, man. Three sisters, me, my mom, who was very poor. So to be here today, to have her here, to see me with all of this ESPN, all of you guys, just, this is beautiful to us, you know? So just to see her out there cheering, I seen a video of her going crazy <coughs> after one. It's a beautiful feeling, man, you know? She don't, she don't, you know, people said I'm gonna make it 18. Then they said I'm gonna make it to 21. So for her to see me at 28, I'll be 29 this month. For her to see me perform at the level that I'm performing on, it's just, it's beautiful, you know. She didn't have to bury me when I was 18 or 21, like people said. And I'm still here today and I'm doing some positive. I do a lot for my community. And uh, I, I, I take good care of my kids. And, um, you know, I just want to inspire. I want to uplift people. And she, you know, I, I used to run the streets big time, you know. So for me to be here, and be positive how, how I am today and really try to look out for the kids that's coming up behind me. And, and I don't I don't post crazy stuff on my social media. You know, I don't cuss on my social media. Well, I just did cuss on my social media. <laughs> but I usually don't cuss on my social media. I don't put nothing sexual up. I don't, you know, the thing that you see uh, uh, people doing today, I don't do those things because I want to inspire my young kids to be, uh, not just my kids that I had. I'm talking about kids that look up to me, the kids in the neighborhood, the kids that come from Topeka, Kansas, the Kansas City, Kansas, around the world. You know, so I really want to uh, uh, help them become better people. So I make sure that I do the right things. Going forward, uh, you know, it's the end of the first half of the season of, of PFL. Um, what do you expect to see from you uh, going into the next half? Uh, more fireworks, man. I go to finish fights. You know, I don't like to go to decision. Um, we train hard. You know, I'm with Professor Claudio Matos now. Uh, in Kansas City, Kansas, at Shooto Box. He, he, I've always trained hard, but I didn't really know what training hard was until I met this man. You know, back then, maybe last year, the year before that, I wouldn't have fought for that Kimura that, that hard, you know? So when I got to that Kimura, I fought hard. I knew I was gonna get it. I was confident in it because we drilled these things so much. We drilled triangle choke, choke so much. Um, uh, I don't remember your question, so say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I just say as far as going forward to expect to see from you, like you said, more I fireworks. expect to see more, more knockouts. Man, I am 265, but I promise you, I move like a lightweight, man. I I can, I can do 10 black back flips in a row. You know what I mean? Um, I can touch rim. I can almost dunk. I can, there's a lot of things that I can do. I can throw spinning back kicks. I can throw, I can throw all those things. I'm just getting my feet wet. This is, this is, you know, this is fun to me. I was talking to the guy the whole fight. I was telling him the whole time. I'm like, this is just practice to me. Literally, when I, ding, 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 this is just practice to me. He said, oh, you want to talk to me? I said, yeah, this is just practice to me. <laughs> you know, he's throwing everything that he had to throw, the hard shots. I walked through all of those things, man. You know, like I say, I I, I was built for this. I was born for this. And um, I'm, I'm going to make this million dollars this year. I know I said it last year, some things happen. Uh, but I'm back. I don't make excuses. So we, we're going we to bounce back. We're going to win it. Were you surprised you hold on as long in the Kamara line? No, no. I mean, I knew, I, I know you're tough. You know, those guys, we in there, our drilling is pumping. You know, so when, you, when you're ripping something apart, it's hurting, but we, we, we're fighting. I've been, my first pro fight, I fought for um, 
I forgot what the organization was called, 2011. But the same exact thing. He had my hand almost touching my head, you know, in a Camorra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hear his corner, he's about to die. And I'm like, no, I'm not. You know, so <laughs> I knew I had to fight for that. I knew I had to step over the fight. He was actually tapping before I even stepped over, you know. And um, so I wasn't surprised he held on. I think he was surprised that I held on. Since you were talking to him during the fight, what would you say to him during your Kimura? I would just tell him this is practice. <laughs> you know, on the stand up, you know, I would just tell him this is practice. I know he was going to throw everything that he had. I, I know I'm better than these guys, you know. I, I don't say that to, to, to be cocky. I say it because, you know, my coaches and I, we, we sit here and we sit down and we study film, you know, and I just, I, I, I believe I'm just one of those special guys that, that, that just came out of nowhere. You all will know who I am. Y'all know who I am now. And I'm just going to do more and more and more, you know, and, um, so yeah, I was just talking to him. I let him know this is practice. We're we're on different levels. I don't care about your seven and no. I don't care about the last two guys that you knocked out. I'm a different breed. I'm better than them. I'm better than you. So now I got to get it over in the first round. So you don't have no doubts in your mind that you're better than me. I don't want you to go back home like, dang, I was almost better than Kelvin. I don't want that. So you don't go back home like, dang, I wasn't even close to Kelvin's level. So that's what I want. These guys can't touch me. You talked about being a positive influence and yes, sir. Uh, wanting to get back to the community. So you make it through this tournament, what's happening in that one million? Uh, I'm gonna pay my child support. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pay that. I'm gonna pay the rest of my traffic tickets off. And I'm gonna pay some more debts off. I don't got no college debts, but I'm gonna pay some debts off first. But I, I got big plans to get back to my community, man. My, I am doing this to open in a community center. I wanna win this million dollars. I wanna come back again and win this million. And I want to open a community center because that's what saved me when I was growing up. Uh, Central Park in Topeka, Kansas. I've been going there since I was 10 years old. To this day, I still make posts to go play basketball on Saturday. I'm leaving tonight to go back home to Topeka to go play basketball on Saturday at Central Park. I've been going there for a very, very long time. And I know how it saved me. So I want to be able to give back times 20. You know, we just went to go play basketball there. I want to learn the center from them. I want them to have trade jobs. I want them to learn how to cut hair, want them to learn the women how to do nails, because the, the world's gonna be different in five years, 10 years, you know, when the kids is coming up. So I wanna be able to teach them, uh, you know, how to make money and not have to go uh, apply for, uh, you know, a job for somebody else. I wanna teach them how to be bosses. So I'm teaching myself how to be a boss too. So I, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give back to my community, man. Kelvin, you had a breakout 2018 regular season. Unfortunately, you lost in the first round mm -hmm. of the Jared Rose Show. A lot of people know that your grandfather passed away right before that. What does it mean to you now to get a win after dealing with such a tragedy last right at the playoffs? It means everything. My granddad and I used to watch uh, ESPN literally, you know, before all of the apps and all of that stuff, of course, you know. Growing up, we used to watch ESPN all the time. You know, when I didn't want to watch it, he would make me watch it. You know, I'm like, granddaddy, can I please turn in? He's, no, boy. <laughs> you know, drink your beer. And, and I'm like, ah, dang. Watch his basketball. I'm like, yes, sir, yes, sir. So, for him to die the, the, the day before my last fight, it, it, it really took a lot out of me. And I really did break down for a month or two. And it was really hard on me because that was the man that taught me a lot. He was a man of few words, but he taught me how to walk. He taught me how to speak. He taught me to, to love my kids, take care of my kids, take care of my family before anything. You know, he taught me that that material things don't mean anything in life. You know, he taught me that taking care of your family, taking care of your community, taking care of, uh, of home is what matters. And so for him not to see this, to be, be to be on ESPN, it really hurt, but at the same time, I know he's looking down on me. Um, uh, he was a Buddhist, he, he wasn't a Christian man, so I can't say, I know he looked down on me from heaven, that would disrespect him, but I know he's looking, and I know he's standing next to me, and, and um, I know he's proud of me, he's clapping for me, he's patting me on my back giving me a kiss on the forehead, so it means a lot to me. You mentioned an eye injury after a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, how close is this fight not happening? Oh, very close, bro. Uh, Professor Claudio was like, ah, pull out. <laughs> I'm like, no, we don't pull out. <laughs> we don't do that. And though, it, 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 it was bad. It is good now. It's, it's honestly good now. Um, but when I I was sparring this guy. I didn't even know who he was. I knew he was a heavyweight. I was looking for sparring partners. And he hit me with a good left hook right on the eye. And I, I just didn't expect him to come out so hard on the first round. Never seen, never didn't know him. Somebody reached out to me. Caught me with a good left hook. And just the, the man in me, just my pride. I'm like, 
because I wanted to quit. I'm like, because I felt it crumble. I wanted to quit. My eyes started going two different ways, and I'm just like, I can't let this man beat me. You know, this that, that's just not my style. So I went in and spoiled the rest of my four rounds, and he hit me about another good 10 times on it. And uh, when I went to, I called, I have, I have a friend, she's a registered nurse, and, and I was like, look, I know for a fact that this is broken. Like, numb, I had the worst headaches for about a week, but we fought through all of that. For two weeks, I, I didn't even go to the gym. This is happened just a month ago. Uh, look, maybe a little over a month ago, but for two weeks, I didn't even go to the gym. I, I, I stuck it out, you know. Um, I do sit-ups here. I will do a uh, little bit of jump rope. But the, the light and just looking, it, it was just so bad. And we did almost pull out of this fight, but I, I, I just couldn't do it. I know it's such a big opportunity for me, uh, for my family, for my, like I say, for my community, for my coaches. Uh, so I, I, I had to dig deep and uh, I'm here. I got the win, so I'm happy. Last question. Can you see those back posts now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. my head hurt right now. <laughs> 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 Next time, big man. Next time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.